Hi, I'm Vespers, and this is the second of three tutorials on SugarBytes Wow Filter Box. In this tutorial, we're going to explore some of the sound mangling capabilities of this filter. First up, we're going to explore what it can do with a beat loop. So what we've got loaded into our sequencer here is a beatboxing loop. So we're going to drop an instance of Wow on it. And first off, we're going to use the overdrive function so you can hear what it sounds like and to add some grit to the loop. And now we're going to use our master knob to trim down the volume a little bit so we don't go overboard. Great. Now we're going to switch to the band crusher filter type and just check out how that sounds. So I really like the band crusher. It's a combination of a band pass filter and a bit crusher and combines them together, creates a really neat sound. And now we're going to explore some of what can be done with the modulation in the filter. So I want this to be sweeping and reacting depending on the incoming signal. And because there's a lot of transients in this beatbox loop, the modulation type I'm going to use is the envelope follower. So this will follow the transients in the incoming beat loop and modulate the filter cutoff when I do this. So we're getting a modulated sound. Now I want to take that to the next level. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sweep the position of the cutoff knob with the LFO. So I'm just going to check out our LFO. It's on a sine wave. I like the rate. Good. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to change the LFO modulation amount. And we're going to check out how that sounds. And as always, throughout here we can control the mix of the effect and the wet dry. So it gives it a really quick and easy way to A, B the results that we're creating. Next up we have a bass line. Now I'm going to add an instance of SugarBytes Wow to the bass line and I'm going to set this to be a 24 decibel low pass filter. But again I want to use the modulation features which are some of the most powerful aspects of this filter to be able to modulate the filter cutoff again. So in this case I'm going to use the LFO. So I right click on the filter cutoff and I control the amount of the LFO modulation that we're going to get. Excellent. But now I don't want that LFO wobble to sound too static. I need that to move with the baseline as well. So one of the most amazing features of this filter is I can modulate the LFO with the other modulation types. For example, as you can see there's a little blue crescent here which means that that parameter can be modulated. And I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to use the step sequencer to modulate the LFO tempo. And lastly, I'm going to give it some overdrive. And 
And that wraps up the second of three tutorials on SugarBytes Wow Filter Box. Stay tuned for the third.